Hello and welcome to Ask a Mechanic. Today we're continuing our videos on preparing a track car and the next one is tyre choice. Now it goes without saying that slick tyres are not a particularly good idea if it's not completely and utterly dry. There are many track day organisers that will not allow you to go out on pure slick tyres if you do not have a roll cage, a bucket seat and a harness. That's not the case for all track day organisers but just to stay on the safe side leave the slick tyres to the racers. Now there are plenty of track day le road legal tyres that you can buy um, from brands such as Toyo, Yokohama, Nankang, Dunlop, Michelin etc. They all do a track based tyre. So if you want to get a specific set of wheels just for use on track in the dry I would recommend that you shod them with a road legal cut slick tyre anything in the wet and you will just need a normal road summer tyre but when you buy these tyres make sure that you are having a look at the wet rating because standing water as it is on the road on track can be just as dangerous and you can also end up aquaplaning. My recommendation would be to take two sets of wheels with you if that is at all possible within your budget. Have a set of wheels that have a set of semi slicks on or a set of dedicated track tyres and another set of wheels with wet tyres or tyres that you can drive home on because you might well find that you go through a set of tyres on a track day and then end up not having a legal set of tyres to drive home on if you've not trailed the vehicle there. Many people who do track days do drive the cars to the circuit, have a day out on track and then drive the cars home again. It is not unusual and it's not something that you should be ashamed of. So my advice is take two sets of wheels if you can do. If you can't, just keep monitoring the wear on your tyres as you go on throughout the day. Bye for now.